Oh man, it's been a while since I talked about NFTs. Let me just give you guys a quick rundown of what this stuff is in case you've been living in a cabin in the woods with no Wi-Fi for the past year. So NFTs, or at least the particular NFTs we're going to look at today, prove ownership of digital artwork. And that's pretty much it. Uh, they're not the actual artwork itself. That is a common misconception that people have, thinking that these images or animations are actually stored on the blockchain. No, they aren't at all. In fact, the way that most of these NFTs are actually stored is incredibly cringe if you're really into decentralized technology and cryptocurrency and things like that because most of these NFTs are actually stored on Google Drive. I mean, imagine spending Ethereum or some other actually good decentralized cryptocurrency and millions of dollars worth of it, like it looks like this one is worth five and a half million, only for you to not be able to access this image because Google decided to take it offline for it being too offensive. What you're actually purchasing when you buy one of these NFTs is really just a link to where that image is stored, uh, which like I said, is usually gonna be on Google Drive or some other web 2.0 storage that might not even be available one day. And anyone who wants to just download an NFT can. Like this one, for example, is as far as I know, the most expensive NFT that's ever been traded. You can see that uh, it's sold uh, for $500 million. And literally all I have to do to get this NFT is just right click on it, save as, oh look, I've got a copy of it already, whatever. Let's just replace it. And then take a look at this. Now I have this $500 million NFT downloaded to my desktop, but it gets even better. Now, all of the people who can't wrap their brains around what NFTs and crypto really is, and they think that they're purchasing something exclusive, are now eternally seething because somebody decided to actually download all of the NFTs and create the NFT Bay. Uh, so obviously this is paying homage to the Pirate Bay, one of the most popular torrenting sites in the world, if not the most popular torrenting site. Um, and yeah, from here you can just download all of the NFTs. Um, it doesn't really matter what you actually search for um, because really all of these just lead to one torrent uh, that's listed. So like if we click into here, uh, for example, we can, or, or at least I didn't see any other torrents listed on this page, uh, but we can see the description here, which is basically what I was just telling you. Did you know that an NFT is just a hyperlink to an image that's usually hosted on Google Drive or some other web 2.0 host? People are dropping millions on instructions on how to download images. That's why you can right click save as because they are standard images. The image is not stored in the blockchain contract as web 2.0 hosts are known to go offline, 404 errors. Uh, this handy torrent contains all of the NFTs that future generations can study, uh, so that future generations can study this generation's tulip mania and collectively go, what the fuck? We destroyed our planet for this? Yeah, I mean, it's literally so annoying the direction that crypto is going in, where more people have probably watched grifters like 69 or Steve will do it. Gamble crypto, oh wait, excuse me, pretend to gamble crypto then there are people that actually understand how this technology works. Um, and then it's signed by Jeffrey Huntley, who's the um, creator of NFT Bay, and follow him on Twitter here if you want. Uh, so if we scroll down a bit more to the actual, uh, what's actually in the torrent, so you can see that there's this Ethereum tar that is almost 14 terabytes. Uh, so, Ethereum is the network that most NFTs are on, uh, which is another reason why I think it is really cringe since people are actually paying in Ethereum for instructions to download pixel art. Like it would be one thing if there were NFTs that were running on like the Doge network or like McDonald's coin or some other meme coin, but no, people are actually paying for uh, Ethereum or Solana which is another network that a lot of people are doing NFTs on. Um, you can see that there is about 4.2 terabytes in uh, this download here. Solana, from my understanding, um, which is very limited since I've only briefly looked into it, uh, but it's very similar to Ethereum. Uh, actually, I'd say that it's more similar to Ethereum 2.0 because it's supposed to be proof of stake already, uh, but it also uses the proof of history mechanism, uh, which makes the network much faster. So yeah, this is 
Another token that, again, from my limited understanding of it, sounds like it actually has some good value uh, based on the tech behind it, and it's not just another pump and dump dog coin that Zoomers are begging Elon Musk to tweet about. So yeah, soon all of these crypto punk NFTs that you know people have paid millions of dollars for are going to be for free now. You can just download the torrent and get all of them. I mean, you could also just literally go to uh, this website and you know download them that way as well. That's another way that you can save them. But there's an NFT project that I'm a little bit more interested in, and I think most of the people watching this are more interested in or at least the people that watch my last NFT video were more interested in, and that is the Waifu Project. Uh, so if we take a look at this one, for example, so uh, this one, To the Moon, it is uh, one of the rarest. It's, uh, what do they call it, heirloom rarity, which I think is the uh, highest score. So if we take a look at it on OpenSea, which is where you can buy a lot of uh, different NFTs from, Currently, she is trading for 8.5 Ethereum, or $36,000, about the same price as a foreign car, but you know, you pay a premium for lollies. Uh, but luckily, I don't have to decide between purchasing this waifu or a new car, because soon I'm going to have her along with the rest of the harem for free. Uh, let's see what other ones we might be interested in. Um, there's this one, right? The pirate. So pretty uh, fitting and interesting name since I'm literally pirating all of these NFTs. Uh, but you know, this one, how much does this one trade for? Let's see. What is the pirate's price? Uh, 6.5 Ethereum or $27,000. So a little bit cheaper, but honestly, I don't even think it's really worth it. I think whoever made this particular NFT didn't really pay a lot of attention to the detail, right? Because if we take a look at this waifu here, Clearly, she is very into technology, right? She's got this, uh, you know, robot arm coming out of her butt. I think she might be technically a transhumanist because of that. And uh, she's got this like metaverse, you know, virtual reality desktop going on. Clearly a technology enthusiast, but she's using BitTorrent as her torrent client. And I mean, come on, it's 2021. If you want to use a GUI torrent client, use Qubit Torrent. If you want to use just a CLI uh, torrent client, then use Transmission. Uh, also, if we take a look at her uh, download and upload stats here, she's kind of a leech. It looks like she's only uploading a few hundred uh, kilobytes per second, but over here on her download, there's several megabytes a second. So yeah, she's, she's downloading a whole lot more than she's uploading. Definitely a leech. She definitely doesn't have a 1.0 ratio or greater. But don't worry, little pirate lady, as soon as you and the rest of the waifus finish downloading, I'll show you how to torrent the modern way. Uh, so yeah, I am <laughs> downloading this torrent. And of course, I'm seeding it as I download. Uh, but yeah, if you've got about, uh, looks like 18 <laughs> uh, terabytes roughly is what you're going to need to store this. So if you've got 18 terabytes of free hard drive space laying around, you could become the proud owner of billions of dollars worth of NFTs. In fact, I think with the CryptoPunks, like, because there's so many of them and so many of them go for so much money, that this torrent might actually be worth a trillion dollars. I, I wonder if anyone has actually downloaded this, if they can go through all of the NFTs that are in here and then compare their mar current market prices on like OpenSea or something like that and tell us, exactly how much this torrent is worth, because I bet it, it might actually be worth around uh, a trillion dollars. Um, so yeah, I think I'm gonna have to end up getting some more hard drives to actually finish downloading this because I, I've only got like 500 gigs left on my SSD. That's where um, this is downloading to right now. I do have an external hard drive that's eight terabytes, but again, that's not quite enough to store all of this. So I think I'm gonna have to go get some maybe external drives from Best Buy, and then I can shuck them. Uh, I think I have a couple of bays left in my desktop here. Uh, so yeah, I'll be able to store all of these NFTs, and then of course I'm going to seed them with my fiber internet connection for eternity. Because in the wise words of Sneed, blessed is the man who seeds that allows others to feed, and let us who follow Sneed forgive the city slickers who fear the righteous path of torrenting, they are lost and instead follow the degenerate path of Chuck in his streaming services. 
May your ratios soar high, believers of Sneed. May your peers be abundant, and may a DMCA letter never arrive to your farm.